I was like, Ella, I'm sure Ella, you are watching. So I was like, Ella, so guy had chased you like three years. Just give him a chance. Eh? I was like, yeah, Dorothy, I don't know about this guy. He's some way. I was like, we just... Nobody has sent me. I sent myself. And then eventually they got together. Can you believe that on her birthday, the guy slept with her and that was it? Oh, shh. Because if you know you are not interested, don't be spending the guy's money. You know what I'm saying? Like... hey beautiful people welcome back to the channel it's your girl dorothy back again with another video this is a continuation of a podcast that i started if you haven't watched my first episode please click out right now go watch it and then you come and watch this one or you can watch this one and later on watch that one too because it's different topics that i discuss over here so today we are going to talk about something interesting and i'm not here alone i'm here with my soul sister nana nana in the building hello everyone and i'm a prisoner here of course i mean if you watch the first one then you know who she is but just in case yeah. you are stopping by for the first time nana can you please introduce yourself again okay hi everyone my name is nanama prisla i mean that's why i can say okay one. just call nanama. her nanama call okay. me nanama okay. she's a counselor too she doesn't want to that's that's that. that she's a counselor thing, eh? so in case okay, you are going hallelujah. through it in case you know life is taking a, a whimper at you please just you know connect with me you pay consultation then i connect Great. With i mean god is our strength thank you hallelujah somebody Amen. so today you're going to talk about an interesting topic that you know you will love and be a part of oh, please i want to see your comment you know down below let me know if you can relate if you have actually experienced this before if it's something you are going through currently or if it's something that a friend of yours you know some people say i'm asking for a friend but sometimes really you know i'm not judging but i'm just saying that if you're going through that i'm sure that you can relate today we are talking about dating hmm. is there something as dating below your standard or above your standard like some people will say that guy mm, way on your miss on your class so is that something like dating below or above your standard nana hmm. What's your special experience? This, this, I want the tea. tea, this, tea this tea. question, eh? Dating above your standard. Or below your, or standard. your standard. Yeah. From my experience, if you ask me, eh? Mm. No, first of all, Nana, let's break it down. What does it even mean when somebody say that we are dating, like we are in a relationship? Ooh, I mean, what does I it think, mean? I think um, when you see um, the person of the opposite sex, not male and male, or female <laughs> and female. That's our personal it's, point it's, of view because yes, we are Christians. Yes, it's yeah. female and male. Exactly. Okay, somebody that you like. Yeah. And then there's this thing called um, first attraction or something. something. Exactly. So, you, like, you easily love the person. You guys have some things in common. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, huna, then butterflies Ish. begin to fly in your tummy. Okay, some, a, a friend and of mine like, was, that a friend of mine was like, Maybe I never tough, maybe I went. Just go and do it. Go and get it. Just go and do it. Okay, so the moment you see the person, what's in the dream cry? Not like you are sick of the bed. And then you, you really want to start and um, take your friendship, your normal friendship, exactly. from one step to yeah. the other. That is when you begin to date. Okay. That is how I understand it. Okay. I personally. So that, and I, then it also leads, maybe mm -hmm. it can lead to marriage. It's true. Yeah. Personally, I, I think I believe same. I think dating is just, you know, two people, two adults. Who have consented and matured, matured out, who yeah, have consented matured. to be together. Not maturity in age. Exactly, but maturity in terms yeah. of character wise yeah. and brain. You know, so two adults who have, you know, consensually decided to just be together, you know, start something and then months, hopefully yeah, it leads yeah. to marriage or just have fun. You mm -hmm. know, people have different reasons why they date. Exactly, and that's okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um Nana, dating below your standard. Has any guy ever approached you and you were like, um, I mean, who am I? I'm interested in you, but you're like, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Have you ever experienced that before? I have. Okay. Yeah, I have. But let me start from this way. Like when I started dating, mm -hmm. and I think that as early as 20, mm -hmm. 2021 was when I started dating. Oh, okay. And I say it's, so it's not early, you share. 2022, yeah, 2021. Yeah. Not 2020, as in my age. You were I 20. dating, yeah. I was 21. Oh, okay. Yes, 21 years. Okay. Yeah, that was when I started dating. And it was like we, we, we were both young. Yeah. So the, the, he wasn't working at that time. Mm -hmm. I was 
Yeah, I was working. I was working with a printing press. Okay. So the little I get, I support him with it. And it was we, we all had the mindset that we were going to get married okay. in the future. Mm -hmm. And of course, we were good to go. I mean, people around got to know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But something happened that just some few weeks to our wedding, we couldn't get married. Okay. It was a very big blow. National kick. A very, very big blow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it wasn't like he was below my standard, okay? okay? But I said, we were all looking up to, we are growing, yeah. growing up together to, I remember when he was looking for a job, he told me that, Nanama, I want you to pray for me to get a government sector to work. When I get a government job, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be fine. I said, okay, we'll pray. And lo and behold, he had a government sector That's and cool. he's still working there. That's good. So now, okay. That's good. He's still working there. But he wasn't so he really wasn't below like, your standard. He wasn't like, below my standard yeah. because, I mean, we were both young yeah. and we were all growing up. Exactly. But fast forward, I've met guys that will come your way and you go like, oh, many you. Allah. You know? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not against anybody. Of course, everybody and their hustle. We okay. respect each other. Yes, I respect everyone. Of course. Like everyone. So I went to buy coconuts one day. Yeah. And then so, at Madina Market, ish. I was coming from Kofodi and then I got there. And then I bought the coconut, and the mom was like, Oh, we have a power. Yeah. And I was like, Okay. And, but my father, my name, no. All because the way he was going, I realized that this is what he wants to do. Okay. Not because he was below my standard, though. Okay. But you see, society can talk. Oh. I understand. Society can but talk. But sometimes, so, too, you know that, Nana, be out on coconut and no. A, I, I believe in that. You know, I believe change. in that. You know, my first guy told me something that uh, things are going to be And today, things are fine with him. Exactly. You know, so I believe in the point that let's start. Yeah. And then we all grow together. Mm -hmm. But sister, sometimes, mm -hmm. eh, we're growing together. And yeah. baby, I know we're it's, 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 it's difficult. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> you know, it's, it's difficult. So yeah. to me, to the question, back to the question that you asked, yeah. I have encountered some before, yeah. but due to my personal reasons, yeah, yeah. Manko, I, okay. didn't, I didn't accept. Okay, personally, I think that I, I've actually dated like three people. The last one was my husband. Um, I think the first one was on campus. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say he was below my belt because Charlie, we all broke, like we all campus, and all exactly, that. Yeah. So I think that he was okay. But then I've had people come my way, you know, who wanted to date me. And then personally, I thought that my definition of somebody who is below me, actually, mm -hmm. before, you know, people take it into another meaning, exactly, yeah, is course. somebody who has no ambition, literally. Like, exactly. it's not like you're even working towards something, mm -hmm. but you are just there. You are not working. You are not learning a skill. You are doing absolutely nothing. nothing. That one, it's not going to work because it's just, it's I don't, I don't see the future and all of it's that. So in that, I think based on, you know, personal goals and all that, I would say that you are below. Exactly. Not because you are poor right now. That mm. one, I don't really have a problem, especially when, you know, I don't have, why would I want to put so much pressure on the guy because he's a starter? Mm. I don't have a problem, but I feel like you should have something doing. doing yeah. You know, you should have a goal you are working on. Not just that. You know, there are some people who just leave anyhow. It's like, oh, I don't yeah, like people like that. You build one part, but when you are, then I will be there. Yeah, no, be you be know, there. so for me, that's what I term as, you know, below my standard. And when it comes to you know, eating people above your standard, I mean, let's not try and be all oh, holy co Jesus, whatever mm -hmm, here. Yeah. When it comes to society, there are classes. Exactly. Yeah. There are rich people, there are medium, Average, and then there are yeah. poor people. And sometimes it's not even necessarily coming from the decision from you, but sometimes where you come from, your mother, mm -hmm. you know, your parents, mm -hmm. the kind of society that you belong exactly. in. That's what I say. You, you can't society. introduce the guy, not because you don't want to personally, mm -hmm. but it's like you've been raised to enjoy some luxury standard, to yeah. a certain standard that is difficult just for any guy to come in. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And when it happens like that, sometimes I know our guys out there are gentlemen, we love you and all of that. Of course. They feel do. a little bit insecure, but it's it's really not the lady's fault. And sometimes I think it's the approach. Like if a if a guy approaches you and then you're like, ah, I owe you a size and all that, like what are you trying oh, to yeah, say? Nah. I think you should find a respectful way. If, even if you don't want to date them. Mm -hmm. For me, I love to make friends because mm -hmm. I don't know where life takes exactly. us. Exactly. So for me, anybody who comes my way, I feel like one way or the other has a connection to my destiny. Exactly. Like we are linked to something. Exactly. So I don't talk down on people. Never. I don't. Never. So I feel like even if you feel the guy is not, you know, your type, your class, whatever class that you can define, yeah. I think you should find the right way of seeing it. Exactly. But we're also not going to dispute the fact that it actually exists mm -hmm. and there are some 
<laughs> rich people who are looking forward to their daughters bringing in rich you know exactly. sons yeah, and all yeah. of that so mm. you can't also say that it's wrong i think it's individual preference and all of that and preference yeah it's true like i'm saying this coconut seller yeah i i didn't look down on him yeah okay but like we said society mm -hmm. boom na 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 kubira as my is over a year yeah okay over a year yeah so kubira and over a year meaning that i was married exactly okay? so i didn't even give my number exactly. to him yeah so i was like oh okay i didn't give the number to yeah. him and i left yeah. we are not looking down on anyone not at all Kube seller today will be a CEO of a big company tomorrow. I mean, look at this by now. I yes, used to sell cassettes. Cassette, cassette say, uh -huh. oh, oh, nobody knows tomorrow. Never know. But sometimes in society, oh, society, it's not like we are living our lives to please the society. Not at all, but, but like you can't do said, away. The, 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 the way we've been brought up. Exactly. How do I take a yeah. coconut seller to my mom? Yeah. That mommy, uh, my boyfriend knew. Exactly. They will not even I'm understand. not looking down at anyone. Exactly. But Based on where from the way from, I am, we've been brought up on. You yeah. can't do some things. Yeah. Okay, so when, when you see the person, like my sister said, yeah. we are connected. Yeah. This world, everybody needs somebody. Exactly. Okay, nobody is an island. No. So you don't have to look down on the person that, not at all. oh, he's a coconut seller, or he's this, he's that. Yeah. You may never know who that person is going to be tomorrow. Yeah. Just try to show respect to the person exactly. and then and then well anyway how that anyhow that you you will go exactly. about it and i always say that there's this saying that i say i said there is somebody for everyone out there you know initially when i was growing up, i used to everyone think that, deserves to be loved you know i used to think that i need to have a certain amount of money or i need to look a certain way to be able to attract the kind of people that you want to go out with mm -hmm. but i realized that you know sometimes you meet some guy be some nice guy has everything and then the lady that i'm not trying to say is anybody is ugly or anything. Exactly, yeah. but then when it comes to preferences <laughs> of course there's always somebody better than you exactly, okay. sure. and you realize and a guy we what's up that's when i realized that it takes more than you know looks and all of that mm -hmm. there are people they look out for characters Character. and all of that That's there are the people thing. they look out for you know what your inbuilt talent there is something about you that nobody can do exactly. and they're able to figure out and that's the reason why they want to be with you so i feel like if currently maybe you are trying to run this girl who feels like eh, you're not my class and all of that i want you to She's know that on yourself and don't let anybody stress you working listen yourself, 2022 yeah. is already i feel like from 2020 the world hasn't been the same never so who date you or you're trying to run some girl or whatever and then she feels like only in the class i feel like you should just let That's it go let it go I because the extent at which i've seen people you know go for money or attain a certain high just to please a girl That's or bad. just to please a lady or just to yeah. please them i, I feel like it's too much people find somebody their souls yeah find somebody they want to drive the fancy cars in town it's, it's, it's a lot in mansions all because of one girl and oh let me give you a tea. one girl let me give you a tea. So way back when i was in, on campus there was this friend of mine that this guy chased for almost three years. I feel guilty even up till now. So I was like, her name is Ella. I was like, Ella, I'm sure Ella you are watching. So I was like, Ella, so guy I chased you like three years. Just give him a chance. Eh? I was like, yeah, Dorothy, I don't know about this guy. He's some way. I was like, just... Nobody has sent me. I sent myself. <laughs> and then eventually they got together. Can you believe that on her birthday, the guy slept with her and that was it? Oh, shh. So the guy, the guy for. waited three years just to just to sleep with her. I was shocked, and I felt so bad because I felt say now she wasn't even ready, and I was like, oh, just give it a try and all mm. of that. And all. so See. later on, I, later in life, I think I met the guy came to where I work, and then he was like, hey, Dorothy, what's up? And I was like, oh, you're not exactly. I was like, ah, you are still holding. Grass. I said, hey, what should of I hold? Of course, of course. Should I hold I peace mean, or what? So I was like, at that time, and leave her. Like, like, that time, was all you were looking for. I said, like, see, initially. He went in there with love. He actually genuinely wanted to date this lady, but lady no money. Hey, look, he so down on him. So, well, so lady no yes, lady no made him feel like he's nobody and on any class and on any type and all that. Into on any boys, just our gender boys. No, don't we almost say, Sisiano, I'm So the guy literally waited three years, slept with a girl, and I, was like, and then I couldn't believe it. Friends. I couldn't believe it. That's so bad. and to all kind of say, say I'll come like me find information, me find your dick. It was like, yeah, if you can, you know, approach your friend and beg, yeah. I said, what? Beg no, who? I mean, after what? No, this one did. That was really, really painful. So it's just about be, what? be on the lookout. There are some crazy people exactly. out there. Exactly. I mean, they don't mind. We, we are not against guys out there, but I have come. Like I've met guys that talk about what you are talking about. Yeah. Girl, we may meet in the Chibeka phone, mm -hmm. and then they will go. 
like they would go every length mm, every to make sure that how many sound of vanity but please my brothers out there don't let's, do let's, that let's to do us. better let's don't do, do better. that to us we don't deserve it let's do better okay so we should do better sure. why would you bet with a friend and say that i'll, I'll, I'll make sure that oh no no but also to the ladies if you know you are not interested don't be spending the guy's money you know what i'm saying like Anybody if you're not interested right, let yeah. him know of don't course, be billing people when you know I mean, that you're not interested money, exactly you know, you're not, you know you are interested. not interested so i feel like as much as we are talking for the ladies we should talk for the guys as well yeah. because especially on campus i mean forget about dbs and all that like the ordinary guy how much sikan or deba campus and all of that you yeah, feel me and yeah. sometimes when we're on campus and some people some of the guys are missing you know like you know kfc whatever and then charlie boy now because we could do some local wavy they put in so much so mm. that you'll be happy so i feel yeah, like yeah. if you're not interested in don't the relationship money, and you know that you want to friend zone them let them know no, you don't begin you don't necessarily have to date yeah, somebody to be a part of their life Never. you can be i've seen relationship marriages you know started as normal friends mm -hmm. they all came back together and got married yeah. so you don't necessarily have to spend somebody's money yeah. just to feel like yeah well, now yeah well, you don't need to do that yeah. because if you spend any guy's money and he comes to me i may give you know some bad advice. i didn't say anything i'm just saying i didn't say anything but just try so I hope that, of course, we've I mean. been able to help you one way or the other. So when it comes to dating below or above your class, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Personally, we've shared our thoughts over here and we hope that you've been educative enough. You've been able to learn one or two things from it and you will take it along your life journey. Thank you very much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure being in your company. My name is Dorothy and as always, it's a pleasure. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.